In this video, we're gonna be experiencing 75 inches of beautiful picture quality with the Hisense A7 G series smart TV. If you guys are new to the channel, do consider subscribing. We'll be making a lot more content like this and it will be great to have you be part of that journey. Before we begin, here are a few highlight features of this smart TV. First, you've got 4K upscaling for the most crisp 4K regardless of your source. It's got a game mode that supports 4K at 60 hertz and a reduced latency of less than 20 milliseconds for the input lag. You also get Dolby Vision and Dolby Atmos for a true cinematic home theater experience. And lastly, you get the Vita U5 operating system, which features voice control technology as well as a lot of new apps. So let's get started. So to keep things simple and before I get ahead of myself, let's begin by talking about the build quality and the design on this. So starting with the dimensions of the TV, like I said, the one that we got for review is the 75 inch variant. So this is massive and I mean truly massive. I would say it's a bit of a challenge to set this up yourself. So definitely have someone else help you out to set this up, but it is built really, really well and it is very sturdy. So the stands to it can be screwed at the bottom if you choose to use the stand. For my entertainment unit system, uh, I did decide to use the stands because I didn't want to drill into my wall, but you do have the VESA mounting options if you wish to mount it to the wall. So once you do screw in the stands at the bottom, it's pretty simple to do that. You also have little guides to put in your wires through for better organization once you do plug them into the IO ports. The back of the TV has a sort of textured pattern back, but it is pretty sturdy and you won't have to worry about any creaks or cracks as you attach it to the VESA mount or even put it down on the TV. This is also where the speaker system is gonna sit to give you that Dolby Atmos. There's a variety of speaker arrays. I will talk about the sound quality later, but yeah, that's, that's what the back of it looks like. Lastly, we've got the remote controller. I do like the controller to this. It's got a nice minimalistic design. Looks pretty nice along with having that voice recognition uh, to activate your voice commands using the remote itself so you don't really depend on external devices in order to have your voice recognition. The remote has pretty much everything you would need on there. You've got shortcuts to most uh, favorite or used applications like Netflix, YouTube. It even has its own art gallery sort of thing so you can have that animated interactive wallpaper experience with this as well. Apart from that, it also comes with the customized applications shortcut key so you can quickly go to your installed applications to easily launch them. Now let's move on to the input output ports on this TV. Majority of the ports are located on the left side of the TV if you're facing towards it and a few at the back. The power input, like I said, is located to the right side of the TV. In terms of connectivity options, you get three HDMI ports, all of which support 4K up to 60 Hertz. One of these HDMI's is also capable of supporting eARC and ARC technology for audio return signals if you want to have sound systems or uh, sound bars like we recently did with that Philips one. After that, you've got USB 3.0 as well as A2.0. You've got a 3.5mm audio jack, ANT input, digital audio in, LAN input, AV input, and RF input. Next, let's move on to pretty much the most important factor on this, which is the display. As mentioned, the size we're looking at today is the 75 inch display. The display technology being used here is LED. The backlit source is direct LED. The native resolution offered here is 3840 by 2160, which is 4K. But apart from that, it's also capable of 4K upscaling. Using advanced deep learning algorithms, the 4K upscaler can intelligently analyze the image frame by frame and then adjust the pixels accordingly with optimized shadows and highlights to produce the most exquisite 4K image possible, regardless of what source is pushing the image out. This is a wide color gamut that creates more than a billion shades and gradients. For our more geeky display lovers out there, this is essentially 8-bit color plus FRC, which gives you a simulation of 10-bit color. This white color range is fairly noticeable. You don't get gradients, you don't get distortion in colors, you don't see banding or flickering as much because of the way it's been integrated. It does support Dolby Vision HDR10 with HLG to give you a maximum balance of dynamic range and a very pleasant viewing experience overall. And yes, this is supported by the Netflix application. So movies out there with Dolby Vision, it's gonna be an absolute treat to watch on here. It really does feel like you're in the cinema. Lastly, you've got the TUV Rainland certified low blue light to protect your eyes from strain. This Hisense TV has been proven to effectively minimize the strain on your eyes by reducing the blue light ratio to less than 20%. 
protecting your eyes and reducing eye fatigue from prolonged viewing if that's something that you do a lot of. Watching movies on here does give you that true cinematic experience paired with the size and resolution. The immersion is truly top notch. That kind of moves us over to the sound quality on here because like I said, it does support Dolby Atmos and the experience is quite remarkable. The sound does move around you whether it's left, right, above you, uh, especially given the size of my living room not being too massive. The sounds seem to bounce off the walls and give me a really good experience. Kind of feels like even with 50 to 60% volume that I was in the middle row of a cinema. Really great sound experience. I didn't expect a built-in speaker to sound that good. Obviously pairing this with a sound system would be ideal, but even on its own, 50 to 60% great sounds. The channel separation was great, whether that's for listening to dialogue, music, or even sound effects altogether. There's clear, distinct uh, separation between each channel. Definitely loved it. Now, this wouldn't be a smart TV without a smart user interface. That brings us to the UI on here, which is the Vita U5 operating system, which features voice control technology and lots of new apps. The intuitive Vita U5 interface makes it easy to search thousands of shows across Netflix, YouTube, Prime Video, or whatever else you use. You can quickly switch between different applications and connected devices, receive recommendations, and with Google Assistant built in, it's super easy and convenient to power your search and control without any need for external devices. Open YouTube. Open Netflix. The UI feels fluid, easy to understand, and well-optimized. You can organize your favorite applications, use voice commands using the TV, and smart devices like Google Home or even your smartphone. The ease of use with this UI is something I really enjoyed. And the second you turn on the TV, it's just a very pleasant experience. Everything is laid out there, simple and easy to understand. Lastly, I'm gonna talk about the gaming mode on here because it does have its own dedicated gaming mode. This TV does come with VRR and ALLM, which is basically variable refresh rate as well as automatic low latency so these two work together to give you a super smooth gaming experience and it turns on this thing called the gaming mode as soon as a gaming device is connected the overall gaming experience is tremendously improved by both of these by significantly reducing the input lag when gaming it also bumps up the refresh rate a fair bit when you're playing i mean it is still 60 hertz but it does feel pretty fluid when you're playing it because of that reduced input lag so all in all, the Hisense A7G is a superb choice for those looking for crisp 4K picture quality that offers stunning colors, image clarity, and striking contrast. We really hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as we did experiencing this. If you have any questions, do let us know down in the comments. Thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you again in the next video. Until then, 